Get set for a shock. As God's word hits you now, your life surely must be transformed. Sit back and get set. I wish I had the liberty to share some of my testimonies. But sometimes we live in a world where people misunderstand everything men of God say. Once you say A, people will say you said A to Z. And it, it turns out to not even edify people again. But I will tell you one or two. Listen carefully. I remember a time when a real estate company came and met me. And they said, sir, God gave us an instruction that everywhere on earth we build an estate that will build a house for you. It's our covenant with God. Anywhere on earth across the globe, for as long as this company exists, just know that anywhere you see us building an estate, I don't know how many estates they have built now across the world. If, if you tell me the power to prosper does not work, think again. Hallelujah. I remember a company of wealthy people who came and met me and said, Apostle, God said we should make you a non-executive board member of this company. What for? What do you people do? This and that and that and that. This is the instruction God gave. So what will be my contribution to your company? That spiritual advantage. You represent the ark of God to our business. I'm sorry, yo. I'm sorry. You see, this is why sometimes some, it's good to say certain things to just help you know that the man standing before you here is not talking nonsense. Let me tell you, if you think this is just a preacher's talk motivating you, think again. I submit to you with all humility what it takes to run koinon, one koinonia service is what many people may use for conferences. Believe me when I tell you. What it takes to run one koinonia service. You've never seen anybody come here to cry, to manipulate, to say this and that. You see, when God sends a word to Jacob, he lights upon Israel. We are not the inventors of these things. We also received it from the carriers. He said, go to them that sell and buy. <laughs> Hallelujah. Our world today only wants people to brag. Once you are bragging and making noise, doing a lot of things, aha. Uh -huh. But once you are modest and humble and you live your life with modesty, sometimes we say these things not to attract conflict. That every devil in hell knows that till Jesus comes, this ministry will not know poverty. Just believe me when I tell you. No, 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 no. It's not a prayer point. I'm telling you what has happened. It will only be from glory to glory. It's not pride. Please, I'm sorry if it looks like I'm arrogant. I'm only describing for you what must start happening in your life from this night. <laughs> Apostle, I'm coming from a background where nobody knows me. Apostle, right now, as I'm standing here, I'm in debt of one billion, five hundred million. Fine rest. You are not the first to get into debt. Please. There are people who have been into debt of billions of dollars and God brought them out. Find rest. Can I tell you, for anyone who is owing here, business is not what you use to solve debt. Prophecy. Go and read your Bible. Every time you are in debt, let me save you trouble. It's not doing another business that will bring you out. It is the power of prophecy. Alas, master, for it was borrowed. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. Set our hearts on you. So you do what to do. We need a boy. Hallelujah. At the count of three, we are going to pray. In fact, 
please my people hold your hands let me start with you people this is my dear leaders look at me in the name of jesus may this power to prosper come on you take that place right now in the name of jesus christ by the power that raised christ from the dead i release you to strange dimensions of prosperity and increase that people will arise and begin to help you in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead in the name of jesus be shifted to a new level mysterious dimensions of kingdom wealth even by the power of god now i decree and declare at the count of three i want you to shout jesus please bring those under the anointing some of you come from families where nobody has risen my god is about to lift you are you ready now father may this anointing this man to come upon your people please bring them out at the count of three one two three shout jesus take that grace now take that grace now bring them out please take that grace now i lift you by prophecy from where you are i shift you to a new season please help those my god please whether you're an usher or not just help the ushers we have to hurry up now someone's life is changing i don't care what financial situation by the power that raised christ from the dead such as i have give i unto you step into a new season of prosperity open your mouth and begin to pray open your mouth and begin to pray lord you are changing my life changing my story please bring them out very quickly let's hurry up if you can as many as you can if you can't bring them out that's all right but we have to hurry up someone pray don't wait till you fall under the anointing open your mouth and begin to pray a renaissance of financial possibilities from your lowly estate my god is lifting you hallelujah where's jimmy please arrange for him to come and sing that song the lifter of men just the chorus david Dam, you help whether it's a guitar or whatever if the keyboardist cannot play let someone help him very quickly please please bring them out quickly Bring them out my god something is breaking out here outside inside those following from any nation the power of god to lift and to prosper is resting upon you Thank you for watching and thank you for staying tuned. I believe you have been mightily blessed. The word of God has always been a double-edged sword, piercing through the bones and the marrow. It's a designer of the heart and the thought, the intent of the man's heart. The word of God is real. The word of God is spirit. The word of God is life. I would like you to always click on the notification bell so as to stay updated with every of our contents and our posts from God's servant, Apostle Joshua Seven. God bless you. Also, don't forget to share this video with your loved ones, with your friends, and with everyone around your jurisdiction. Thank you. God bless you.